hi there welcome to this video so our main file have only PSO so when we run this file then this will be jump into PSO file so in our PSO file we have number of EV stations 5 and we have 5 regions so we need 5 EV stations respectively so let me show you uh, we have one we have two uh, here you can see that we have two we have 19 we have 20 we have 21 we have 22 2 19 20 21 22 so here we have 2 19 20 21 so why I use the next three values because we have to fill our nine values because this have this region have five different uh, values uh, to make it uh, complete matrix so, so we replace these values so ne uh, no need to worry about that so in this way we have second region we have third region four five six and uh, this one this is four five six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty three twenty six twenty seven twenty eight nineteen so this is the third this is not the second this is the third region so here we set our value to number of EV stations 5 and then we set our regions I mean uh, in region 1 we have possibility to place our EV station here in region 3 we have our possibility to put our EV station here so you can see that you can say that we have possibly these locations uh, these are the possible locations uh, for our regions for EV station you can see so here I have put some minimum and maximum for EV size you can say size of EV so later on we will uh, remove them with fixed value which we already have thrower so here we have maximum iteration number of population and here we have PSO parameters so here we have construction coefficient for PSO if you want to use that just comment it and uncomment this part by clicking just over here so this is also the other way so you can either use any one uh, both these are functions of PSO but uh, this will give us improved values so here we have calculation for our velocity parameters here for our PSO we have initialized over these variables so let me click here left click here and there is a red circle so when I'm going to run button then you can see that on my right side there is a workstation so in workstation we have empty park uh, sorry empty particle so just open it up just double click here and here you can see that we have position cost velocity best so you know initially we have to introduce our position for our swarms particles and then we will find cost accordingly so in this case our cost is actually our power losses because uh, uh, in this objective function we require power losses so uh, we just uh, uh, PSO just name our best value as cost so there will be range of cost here and it will be the velocity of the swarms and here will be the best value stored in it so let me click here so uh, these are the variables we initialize for PSO here here we have a particle uh, uh, this is on left side this is the variable particle and here it is this one so here you can see that all uh, these uh, variables we all these matrices we have to fill with our values accordingly so next we have to this will be used to find best solution later and later on we have minimum maximum and we are size uh, we have to put the position for our EVs and we have set uh, these PSO parameters so these are also parameters so just uh, let me jump into this this line so here we have a load flow file so when we'll, we will be at this point let me click on the continue button and here load flow and here we have P so in this point we have P 
so this p p is actually what is this at this point this p so uh, here we are going to move into our load flow file where we have to put uh, where we have to put our input we have to put our ev location and uh, number of evs and uh, size for each ev and then we will calculate losses through our load flow uh, program so that load flow uh, program is actually our load flow so uh, let me show you uh, how pso is working here here we have a range of p what is p here p will represent a, a num eb so uh, uh, we are going to jump and jump into our uh, load file here is our p uh, here is our uh, num eb that is the number of evs that we have to find uh, its location because it its uh, size is fixed and uh, here is the p we have to find the uh, location for uh, so uh, in the uh, in this line we are going to our load flow file uh, in load flow file we have uh, 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 we have our two inputs now we are going into our load flow file by this uh, line of MATLAB code so here we have num ev we have five you can see here we have five number of evs that we have to find the location for these but uh, our size for evs is fixed i will uh, explain later uh, there how the size is fixed and uh, here is the range of uh, uh, what is P here? Uh, P is uh, find through PSO alg algorithm and uh, P is actually uh, the possible uh, range uh, for our location of EB. So let me show you P here. We have, let me show you. We have P uh, for region 1, for region 2, for region 3, for region 4 and for region 5. For region 1 we have 20. So let me show you. Here in initially I uh, explained that uh, our in region one our EV will be in this uh, uh, in this range. So uh, here we have twenty. For region two it will be it uh, here it is twenty four. For region three it is twenty nine. So uh, similarly P is representing for last one it's eighteen. So this is not a fixed value uh, for every iteration. For every iteration, this value will be different. So now we are going to uh, p is uh, will be a different for every iteration. So let me show you again. Here we have 20, 25, 29, 11, 18. Here you can see that. Uh, in our last iteration it will be different it, it was 20 25 so for every iteration it will be different so now we are going into our load flow file here load flow file we are going into load flow file so uh, here is our load flow file here we have ps and qs we have 33 basis so we initialize just left click here on left side so let me click on the continue button and we are uh, now getting to it so here we have ev uh, the locations uh, uh, the locations which we uh, have p value here and now we represent p here with ev so uh, num uh, ev is uh, still 5 so here we have a calculation for size of our ev and here we have set our parameters uh, for ev uh, so uh, now let me show you uh, what is psqs so ps will be represent uh, size for ev or you can uh, say that load flow size for our EVs PSPQ still PSPQ are 33 columns and we will fill them later so uh, here we have PSQS so what is PS? PS is actually the real, uh, real kilowatt size of our EV first EV and here is the reactive size of our EV 
for region 1, for region 2, for region 3, for region 4 and for region 5. How these values are calculated? Let me show you our file here. So here you can see that in region 1 it has 9 cars, each station has 1 DC charger, 120 kilowatt. So here we have 4 AC charger, so 4 multiplied by 3.3 .3, and here we have 132.133.2 kilowatt. So when I will divide it by power factor into 0 0.85 then it will be so we have 132 and when I fit this formula then our solution will be 84.1 so this is the calculation for region 1 this is the real size of EV for region 1 and this is the reactive size for our EV for region 1 and here is the here you can calculate others accordingly here is for region 2 size and here is region 3 4 5 etc so let me click on the continue button and here you can see that uh, first we initialize PS and now we are going to PS and let me show you so now uh, we put our EV size at specific location so let me show you explain here just a moment here we have EV that is 22 25 29 so I put 22 25 and 29 and uh, uh, for each region we have put a value accordingly that is calculated from this function so next uh, here we have a uh, load flow analysis explanation per, per unit calculations uh, 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 calculations for our line data and load data I'm not getting into detail for this and here is a backward forward sweep algorithm so if you need explanation for this I will provide a different video to you you can take in some idea from that and later on we have forward load flow analysis all these things and here we have current branch current and here etc I will provide a link for that video so uh, for load flow file we are going to find out our results best results so uh, uh, here uh, we have a calculation uh, of losses So uh, here we have to uh, find power losses for our network using using the size of EV and uh, location that we uh, initially. So let me explain what we have up to now. Uh, we find location for our by using our PSO and we put we. Uh, tell PSO the range which is possible and then we put size tell size and then PSO put size of EV and locations at specific locations then we have find our losses through load flow analysis so now we are going back to our previous line so let me click on the button here so when I will click on uh, just a moment just remove these red circles click on continue button and uh, now we are back from our load flow file so let me show you where is particle cost what does it mean so here we have initial locations actually we have run three iterations that's why we have three columns for first iteration for second for third for first iteration we have this type of losses uh, for first iteration we have this type of uh, possible locations for our EV for second this is the possible locations for our EV so don't worry about these integer values uh, we can round them before using so in this way we have find our cost so what is cost here cost is, uh, cost is representing the losses that we find through power losses so in this way we have find cost and then we have to so this is the uh, update function through this we update our global best uh, if you have any question you can ask later I will explain so here uh, is some other here is uh, velocity coefficients 
and uh, velocity limits and all other uh, similar stuff here so later on let me show you so uh, here we have some other parameters like uh, velocity uh, position and mirror effect through this we change over uh, particle position and then we have to find our cause here you can uh, just let me show you what's happening over there click on continue button and uh, here we have P here so we have again our different just a moment so here we have a different range for our PV uh, P that is the possible location for our EV so in So that uh, so that was possible location for our EV and uh, next so uh, let me show you what's happening here just click on the again continue button programming still uh, just a moment so uh, when we find uh, finally here is uh, another load flow file 2 let me click on run button here is load flow file 2 so when we find our Uh, because video is going to be very long so I uh, just skip some part of it while this was running so up to this line I have get uh, this figure only so here we have load flow 2 I'm going to run this load flow 2 so this load flow 2 file is just for the execution of the results uh, it means that uh, by load flow 1 we have find our location for our EV and through load flow 2 we will fit our EV uh, to specific location with this specific size and then we will find losses uh, in load flow file we have a lot of variation for our losses let me show you So uh, actually we are going to an another file that's why uh, values are not here. So in this way now we are going into load flow 2 file and here we have to put our best solution position that we have find here and number of EV here. So in this way we find another solution accordingly. Best solution to position where is here's best solution to position and here in this position we have 2, 3, 4, 12, 13 so let me show you first in first two then we have three for this then we have four for this and then we have twelve twelve for this and thirteen for this so let me click on the run button continue button and now it uh, shows possible location power losses, regular reactive and uh, voltage deviation percentage. So if you have any different question you can ask uh, and if you want further explanation for PSO or load flow analysis I will explain it to you. So sorry for background noise and thanks for watching.